closely dealing with this breaking news in as we were touching on with the Reverend. Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid, fellow Democrats, have just unveiled what they call a framework for sweeping immigration reform. That framework includes provisions to bolster border security, as the Reverend was saying was key to this whole debate, creating a high-tech identification card for immigrant workers and a new process to admit temporary workers and a path to citizenship for illegals. Republican Congressman Louis Gomer of Texas joining me right now. Congressman, that all just breaking, so I don't mean to hit you broadside on that. Sorry. Is that along the path to giving citizenship to all these illegals? That's certainly what it sounds like. I haven't seen the new pr proposal. It just broke. And it is just a framework, kind of like when Paulson came to us with a three-page framework that uh, got us in this mess with TARP and the subsequent bailouts. Frameworks scare me, but particularly giving people who came illegally a, a path to get ahead for citizenship, citizenship in front of those who have been trying for years to do it legally. That is a dangerous message. And Neil, I don't mean to oversimplify, but when I was a kid, we had a public swimming pool, and every year on splash day, the line was enormous, but Mr. Ellis ran that pool, and when some kids would invariably try to run and jump in the front of the line and slip in, he never let them get away with it. He always made them go to the back and wouldn't, would, would make them get behind everybody else. It cut out the cheaters trying to cut in line. But you cannot let those the people that came illegally get ahead of those who just want to do so legally. And and then you've got the But do you worry like though your, your points are all well grounded and, 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 and well thought out, Congressman. But do you worry about just the the fallout for Republicans? Fairly or not, I was talking to the Reverend as just a Latino and, and wondered what you know, the Latino community is by and large in lockstep with with these protesters, not across the board. But enough of them feel uh, that this is racist. Now, you might argue whether that's fair, right, or even appropriate, but it, it is what it is. So I'm wondering with Republicans who've made great inroads, especially in Florida with the likes of Marco Rubio, is this going to hurt the party? It's, it, it, fairly or not, are you going to be labeled anti-Latina? Well, some may try to do that, but... But we have had the problem in Washington of too many people doing what's political. And I believe, you know, I know too many Hispanics that believe in the rule of law and believe in what's right. And I have hope that the Hispanics are, will be what get this nation turned around. A faith in God, a, a love of family, a hard work ethic, what used to make this country so great and can again. So I have great hope for that, but I believe that the Hispanics, when they see what we have in common, that they will get beyond this move to be political and see that we were the people who tried to stand on what was right, knowing in the long run it works out better, and they come to us because we protect their country and protect their rights in the long run. Congressman, thank you very much. Well, thanks, and thanks for the great comment about well thought out. I don't hear that very often about my thoughts. <laughs> well, it was, it was. Congressman, thanks. All right. Now